Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of Common Rider Build Episode 4. So again, I'm kind of repeating myself, but Build did continue its momentum again this week. At least I felt it did. I, I quite enjoyed this episode yet again. There was no um, form debut this week. We sort of, we got, we got the ninja bottle made, so we're setting up for that next week. Um, for that new form next week, but so that was kind of nice. Even though I don't mind, like the pacing of the forms isn't really as story driven in a sense. If that makes any sense. So I'm not really having as huge a problem with like needing a buffer episode because it's a much different structure. I've talked about that before though, so I don't know why I'm going on about it again. But anyway, um, so this episode we just sort of moved the mystery forward a little bit. Basically, uh, Sento had discovered that two panels came off the Pandora's box and he was questioning those two guys where he works. I think he works there now, yeah? Yeah. Well, that are dressed like they're from the, the Ganma world about like where did they go, did Faust have them, and confronted them about that. Um, and then we also got a little bit more movement on, well, not a little bit more movement, it was like the story of the week about this guy that set up Ryuga, and he got experimented on again, and Bill basically lured to fight him, and Bloodstark, like, grew him up, and, um, Bill had to fight him, and he, he cured him, but he lost his memory. So, that's interesting because it's kind of tied to the fact that Sento lost his memory, and I'm curious how much that'll be expanded on in terms of like maybe the memory losses due to uh, a certain level of experimentation because Ryuga was also experimented on but he did not lose his memory so I'm gonna assume right now it's that some there's a correlation between the memory loss and the level of experimentation but so he lost his memory which is unfortunate because his family he has a family who we met in this episode that the Ryuga and the reporter girl whose name I don't remember yet I'm sorry um, and that may, led into a nice character beat I felt for Ryuga where he kind of bonded a little with the, the kid in the family, not necessarily bonded, but sort of just, uh, sort of got to form some sort of connection. I don't know. The, uh, bonded sounds like too strong a word. My, my point is, is that he, he formed an attachment to their story, basically, I guess. And so, like, at the end, it was kind of sad for him when, uh, he saw that the dad didn't remember his daughter. And it was a nice character beat, because his initial reaction to this dude losing his memory was, like, really mad and like nervous or scared because he he was going to count on this guy to clear his name and now he doesn't remember it and then he saw okay this guy doesn't remember his daughter and he's like he realized that like, that was what was important he said like I don't care about me but you need to at least try for your family and I thought that was a good character moment because um, it was like a, a good like hero ideal but he had a human reaction. Like, like I've mentioned, I, I hate to always bring this up, but some of my problems with characters like Amor Gintaro is they would always react exactly the same way in like an NPC manner, where no matter what the situation, they would just come up with generic goody two-shoes quote, friendship quote. And I like that Ryuga's initial reaction was very human, very knee-jerk, but then once he, he took a step back from the situation, he realized sort of what the right thing is and like what's important. And it shows that he's a good guy, but he's also human. And I appreciate moments like that because uh, so often lately we've been getting characters that are just like NPCs and they're one note replies. So I appreciated that. Um, and the other big reveal, which is sort of, it kind of bookended the episode in a way, which was nice, was um, the, the panels being missing was revealed at the end. Obviously, Faust does have one of them in Night Rogue, but uh, the other one is being held by the shop owner. And so, it made me kind of realize, I mean, I always knew, obviously, that there was a lot we didn't know about him and his involvement, but I, it was kind of in the back of my mind because he's kind of like, oh, I'm your wacky landlord, like that kind of role, you know, and there's so much other mysterious stuff going on that even though I knew there was questions to be answered about him and like he did that bendable thing a couple weeks ago, which I think could maybe be because he has a bottle, I don't know, but just the way it was presented, it was kind of like, the back of my mind acknowledged that it was a question and mystery that was being raised, but I didn't really put my initial focus on it. And they kind of addressed this week, like, oh, well, you met me and I, um, you said I should start being billed. That's something I'm confused on that I hope they address in the show, because I know there was certain information in the scans that I just didn't read, because, like, I was confused whether build, like, how build was established. Um, people answered that a few weeks ago in, the, in a video, I think it was, like, episode one or two. But, like, I'm confused, like... Did he, like, ma start making the build stuff right after the amnesia and then the owner found him? Which, that wouldn't make sense because he didn't have the, the, the panel and stuff. 
or was he found and then just recruited to be billed? It just kind of makes it muddled with the timeline. Like I said, I was initially confused of whether he made this stuff before amnesia, after amnesia, exactly how and why after the amnesia. Like, and it makes it even more muddled, the fact that he can remember how to do, have the skills to do this stuff, but he doesn't remember himself, which I know is like a form of amnesia, because like you can still remember normal stuff. I don't know. It's just a little bit muddy for me. Maybe I should go read some of the old scan information, scan information, but I, I just hope that they clarify it more in the show. But I like that they not only brought up the panels at the beginning, and then spoke a little bit about the initial meeting between because I'm calling him the shop owner because I don't remember his name, the shop owner in Sento, and then at the end bookended it with, well, yeah, I have the other half of the panel. And I thought that was an interesting, it was a really, really neat way to do it narratively, which I thought was what I meant to say. So that was kind of cool. And again, I just, I like that it's kept this, like, nice serialized momentum. Um, to t Blood Stark, to touch on him a little bit, there's not a whole lot to talk about, other than, you know, he's another antagonist that's obviously tied in with Night Roll, another one of those. Um, but... Uh, one thing I just wanted to say is that I initially, I still, Night Rogue, I love his suit. Initially, Bloodstark, when I saw it, I'm like, oh, that's okay. But after seeing it in person, I actually, or like in person, you know, like in video and whatnot, I actually like it quite a bit. So I really dig that suit. I really dig both of those sort of writer-esque characters floating around. I think it's really neat. Uh, but yeah, overall, that's pretty much all I want to cover. This was another solid episode. I'd give it an 8.5. Um, next week, we're getting another form debut. Um, the, the, the super sportsy looking one with the ninja. Uh, that we got this week, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the mysteries play out because I haven't been this invested in a writer this fast in I can't even remember. Like even some of the series that I was most um, invested in, like Gaiman Agito, I wasn't like actively looking forward to the next episode to find out mystery questions by episode four. Like we're in the first month, so that's really neat. Anyway, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Dawson Writer signing out.